schedule was made for a reason. We would like to go against the best team in the country and figure out what we got to work on. We've, we've got plenty to work on after this game. I mean, good, but Braden Smith's one of the best guards in the country. I mean, they don't turn the ball. They had three turnovers as a team. Uh, we got beat up in the post a little bit more than I, I thought we were going to. We, you know, getting the cliff, I didn't, I didn't think we were going to need to double as much. And Kaufman ran, obviously. Wasn't the primary post up guy playing with E for the last you know, pretty much his whole career here. So he uh he didn't post up as much and we, we I, I didn't know he was that good and he I mean he kinda killed us in there. So and it wasn't just Cliff, it was everybody that guarded him. So we coaching staff's gotta do a better job prepping for post ups like that. We gotta do a better job getting our shooters open. We didn't we didn't do a great job getting our shooters open and then Shoot, uh, you gotta give them a lot of credit though. I mean, those guards are good. They're super skilled. Smith, Lawyer, oh, they, they just they don't turn the ball too much. They don't, they don't miss many open shots. I mean, Brayden goes over four from three and still ends up with 17, 10, and six, and only one turnover. So I, I, I didn't I didn't think we did a great job uh, on some of the stuff. And, you know, we still had a six point lead with 10 minutes to go in, and they just kind of walked us down after we, we, we got up six. So. They're good. Uh, we've got some work to do. Uh, you know, we'll get back to the drawing board and get better. We get, we got a big one coming up against Illinois on Wednesday. Hey Nate, right here. Uh, one of the things in Alabama in the early season has been shooting, and I think you had a little a better tonight than what you've had in the first three games. Talk a little bit about how you're looking at this game coming in here to Mackey and playing Purdue, and you got an incredible schedule ahead of you. What are you looking for your guys to improve on from this game forward? Yeah, I mean, I, I, obviously defensively we got to do a better job in the post. We got to do a better job keeping teams off the offensive boards. I thought, you know, Purdue did a pretty good job on the boards with us. We've got to do a better job finding uh, better shots for our shooters, and you know, those, those are the biggest things. I just, you know, we've got we've got to do a little bit better job closing games too. Like with some effort, I thought, you know, I thought we'd be able to wear them down a little bit more. We did. I thought they they closed the game better than we did after we got up six. So. You know, some of that's maybe we got to keep keep some guys a little more fresh in there. We got to find some different lineups, but we're you know we, we we've got some young freshmen we're figuring out. You know, LeBaron looked pretty good tonight. We got to figure out ways to get some of these other guys, some new guys uh, in the rotation, maybe a little bit more and stay a little more fresh uh, as we work through the game, trying to keep our pace up. Yeah, you all had a couple threes to start the second half. Seemed like it was maybe an opportunity to kind of snatch the momentum away, and then they go on that 13-0 run. What did you kind of notice in the middle of that run that was that was going wrong and how they just kind of take advantage of maybe some of those mismatches in the paint, like you mentioned? Yeah, when, when was, uh, was the 13-0 run? Was that, did I call the time out in the middle of that? What was, yeah, was that? It uh, was about 11 minutes left in the second half. Yeah, after we, uh, after we went up six, right yeah. after that, they went up 13, they had made a 13-0 run. Yeah, yeah I, we, we got to do a better job. You know, guarding some of their actions. I mean, they, they bring the ball up the floor. They get their the primary handlers and the, the actions. We do a great job. You know, they got we're able to get downhill on some of that. And then we, once we got up six, you know, we, we, we were able to play and transition a little bit more. And then they got them more into a half court game at that point. When we got in half court, that we didn't execute some stuff like we needed to. And we we didn't, we didn't do a good job in the half court. So we, uh, I, I'm gonna have to go back and look at that run. I, I wasn't aware. Obviously, I knew we, we got up, and then they, they made a run. I didn't know. I'll have to look at that a little bit more on tape. Hey, Coach Kyle, over here to your left. Um, I saw your quote with Cliff earlier in the week about how loud it is here. Um, what was it like to play here? Just fans in general just enjoying the game and how loud it was here. I, I love the environment. I mean, they got big time environment here. It's, it's my first time being here. I, I grew up in Big Ten country. I've been in most of the Big Ten arenas. I hadn't been here yet. So. I'm a big basketball fan in general. As a fan, this would have been a great game to go to. As an opposing coach, it makes it a little bit more difficult. I mean, it's hard to get your play calls out. They don't hear you very well. It's, you know, when you're, you're on a run, I mean, it's loud in there. And, you know, when they need to stop, it gets loud. So, you know, they've done a great job. Coach Painter's done a great job. Somebody gave me a stat over teams that have just played in Power Five conferences in the last five years. They got more wins than anybody in the country does. So, this is one of the premier basketball programs in the country, and they've got one of the best home environments in the country. It's good for our guys to come in and experience it, and hopefully we learn a lot from it. Thanks, Coach. Up front. 
So in that run that we were just talking about, you're still up one, and then three straight possessions where CJ cuts and zero hits shots and turns it into so I'm just curious how much, what was what was on the scout about him? You know, being a true freshman and a guy who wasn't even necessarily like highly recruited coming out of high school. I'm just curious what you guys were expecting and what what you saw happen in that stretch. I mean, we had him now as one of the shooters, but kind of like you said, we reputation coming out of high school as a shooter. He hadn't done this in the games. I mean, they had some guys step up. They, they, they got him free, and we, we went into a great job guarding him. And, yeah, I mean, that, that was big. I mean, his 18 minutes were big. I mean, you look, they were plus nine in his 18 minutes. I mean, outside of, you know, Kaufman, Wren, and Lawyer, he was, uh, he was the best plus minus on the team. So he, he played an efficient 18 minutes. They got him open. He made, he made shots at a high level. So, you know, I, we didn't anticipate him being that good, but we, we, we definitely knew he was capable of shooting it. But, yeah, he, he, he went on a little run now. Nate, last year when you played Purdue, it was kind of a track meet, but it was kind of the star players for both teams hitting shots. This year, uh, Matt said the other day, his bench had to be better than yours to have a chance in this game. And I thought, you know, whether it was or not, Purdue got some big production off of the bench. Did that kind of surprise you how deep Purdue was with some of these guys? Yeah, I, I didn't. You know, we knew Colvin could shoot. You know, we didn't. I thought we did a pretty decent job on him, but Cox kind of picked up the slack there. So, you know, and I mean, <laughs> they got a decent height can shoot. You know, first gives him a, a, a decent, better than decent backup day. I mean, starting a lot of places in the country. So, we, we knew their bench was good. I think, I guess we ended up scoring them. I was going by six off the bench, but. Part of that was uh, LeBaron had such a good game and he had been starting for us. So, you know, his 18 helped us. We, we had to get a little bit better production from some other guys off the bench. You know, and that, that's us finding the right role for some of these new guys and figuring it out. But, yeah, they, 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 got, a, they got a complete team. I mean, they're good. They're, they don't have ED, but they're, 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 they're very good. And they, you know, Trey's going to be one of the better forwards in the country. And he showed it tonight. Hey, Nate, uh, the 1.4 points per possession for them in the second half, and they only take six threes. Like, how frustrating is it when you're you're kind of getting the shots you kind of want, but you know, just not just being effective? Yeah, I mean, they, you know, they, 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 they've got skilled guys. I mean, they, you look at some of the shots they had. I mean, Smith, we knew was good. You know, like I said, he didn't hit a three. You know, he got five at the free throw line. He's, you know, he hit six twos, he gets downhill, he hits the pull-ups on us. You know, Lawyer got downhill on a few, he got fouled. Like they, you know, we had, I mean, you know, we, we try to play the numbers, but they, they kind of defied them a little bit. I, they had, I think, on nine rim twos, like almost half their shots were nine rim twos, and they shot 40, 45% on them. We had them 12, 27 on nine rim twos. So, you know, we, we, I, we needed to do a better job you know, pushing them down to the rim, did some shot blocking, we didn't. We, we, I, we didn't, you know, we need, we need to be better on D. You know, our defense struggled a little bit last year. I think we're, we're definitely going to be better this year than we were last year. We've been better so far. This was not one of our better defensive performances. Oh, but it, they, they got some skilled guys that, that really made us pay on a few things, too. Two more. Smith and Kopp and Ren, they combined shot less than 50%. I mean, if somebody would have told you that they would have done that you know, on the volume that they did and, and you guys um, didn't win, would that, you know, how much would that have surprised you? And I guess, you know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, some other guys picked it up. Obviously, Cox going through three from three. They still, they still made nine threes. And, you know, we kind of, we try to take a lot of threes, you know, they, they hit the same amount we did. They just shot a lot better percentage. I mean, they're 9 to 16, and we were 9 to 29. So, you know, they, they got efficient shooters, good shots. And, you know, I, I mean, Smith shot 33%, but he had 10 assists, one turnover, seven rebounds, and still scored 17 points. So it's, it's not like you can say he had a bad game. I mean, he just, we, we forced him into taking some tough shots, and he hit some tough ones, but, but we, he missed some too. So, you know, and Kaufman ran, I mean, they just kept going to him. So I don't think they anticipated 23 shots from him. We sure did, but you know he he got 26 points on 23 shots. He had a pretty good night himself too. So we uh, it's early in the season. 
you know, they showed some stuff that, that we didn't necessarily expect and we didn't think we'd have issues with, particularly the, the post-up stuff. So we, we have figured out. Like, we, we don't guard post-ups much in practice, so we, we got to do a better job prepping our guys for this. But, you know, they, they, I mean, this team, the program, maybe the best post-up program in the country, That's they, they get guys that are good at it. They know how to feed it. They know how to run actions to get in there. They know how to run the actions for their shooters when it goes in there. We saw all that last year with Edie. You know, we, we didn't think we were going to have to worry as much about, so we didn't really plan on having a double post. And in hindsight, we probably should have a little bit better answer for Kaufman Rim than we did, so that's on us. You mentioned LeBaron a couple of times, but, you know, De'Aaron Reed made a couple of plays early. Holloway had that three. How do you feel just about maybe some of those younger guys stepping up, making a few plays here or there in, in such a, you know, big environment like this in the first time? Yeah, I mean, we, we got to get them guys a little bit more involved, maybe so we can get some of our older guys a few, a few less minutes. But, I, you know, they, they, they were good. You know, the one three Holloway hit was on a run when we went up. You know, I think Darion's coming along. He was injured a lot. He's still hasn't got the reps that he needs to, you know, I, I think they're going to help us. LeBaron's been really good, but, you know, probably better than what we thought he was going to be, so I thought he had a pretty good game tonight, but we got to keep developing our bench. we got to keep developing the young guys. that they got to help us win a lot of games this year. Thank you, Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks,